In this brief screencast, I want to show you how to contour isograms or to draw contour lines. I'm going to use the Google Drawing tools, but the same skills can be used on paper or a program like Microsoft PowerPoint or a number of other drawing tools. To start off with, I'm going to come to my Google Drive and create a new Google Drawing. So under More, click on Google Drawings. I have a blank canvas right now. I will open up this grid of numbers, this array of numbers, simply copy and paste this into my Google Drawing Canvas, and I will expand it out to fill up the size of the drawing canvas. Now I'm ready to start drawing. The first thing I'm going to do is select the line drawing tool. Instead of having the straight line, I'm going to use the curved line. My first step will be to draw a loop around all the numbers greater than 500. You'll see this set of numbers goes everywhere from 100 to 560 in the center. Somewhere in here lies a hidden mountain, and we want to discover where it's located. So I'll start by drawing around all the numbers that are greater than 500 clicking as I go around the map. This first loop will be around all the numbers greater than or equal to 500. As soon as I click to a full loop, I will come up to the paint bucket, select a darker color, but that covers up my numbers, so I'll go to custom colors and set this to be a transparent gray rather than an opaque color, and now I can see the numbers through the painted loop. The next step will be to go around and I'm going to draw around all the numbers greater than or equal to 400. What I'm doing here is actually creating a mathematical set. These are all the numbers greater than or equal to 400. You'll notice that the 500s are inside the loop because 500s are greater than 400s, and I'm drawing the line of all the numbers greater than or equal to 400. Now I'm ready to draw around all the numbers greater than or equal to 300. Another way to do this would be to use colored pencils or a highlighter. I could highlight all the numbers that are 500, all the numbers that are 300, and so on, and then draw a loop around the different colored numbers. That may be easier for some students. Right now, I'm just clicking as I go, including all the numbers greater than or equal to 300. If I happen to see the number 300 exactly, my line should go directly through that number. Finally, I'm ready to draw around all the numbers greater than or equal to 200. These are skills that we'll use throughout the year. We may use these for topographic mapping, finding mountains within our data, or maybe we'll also use this in meteorology. We can use these same skills for weather maps, drawing maps of the temperatures, or barometric pressures, humidity, rainfall, and other properties of the weather. Almost finished. As I come back around to the top side of the map, I have set of all the numbers greater than or equal to 200, all the numbers greater than 300, all the numbers greater than 400 and 500, revealing the mountain within this array of numbers. I can very easily save and share this image by coming to the File tab, clicking Download As. I can save this as a PDF, a JPEG, or another image file, which is easy to share and upload with others.